Okay. Um, we're now traveling on MacDill. This originally was called Roosevelt when the city of West Tampa was an independent city, and it was called Roosevelt, not in honor of Franklin Delano Roosevelt, but in honor of Th Theodore Ted Roosevelt, Teddy Roosevelt, because in the area that we're about to pass at McFarland Park, he had brought his Rough Riders for training. Uh, consequently, they would refer to this as Roosevelt. After a few years, they called this street Lisbon, and then when they opened up all the way to MacDill Air Force Base, this became uniformly MacDill Avenue. We're just approaching McFarland Park. There were a couple of Jewish Rough Riders, too. Tell me again. There were a couple of Jewish Rough Riders. Oh, I'm not surprised. Yeah. It was a volunteer group. You had to supply your own equipment and your own horse. McFarlane, of course, is the father, the founder of West Tampa. West Tampa became the second cigar city. So we have the tale of two cities but only one was a real city because Ybor City never was an independent municipality. West Tampa was an independent municipality with its own mayors, city council, etc., including Manuel Katz, who was a merchant here in West Tampa, a Jewish uh, merchant, and he was the city treasurer of the city of West Tampa. In Ybor City, his relative Adam Katz had a very important store, and the Cubans would call, since the word cat is so similar to the animal, they would refer to the store as El Gatico, the little cat, but pronounced in Spanish, Gatico. 